Hello lovelies, I'm Christina and today we are going to talk about 112263 by Stephen King. This edition is 719 pages. It was published in 2011 and is going to be a series on Hulu starting now first coming Monday starring James Franco which I'm very excited about. Let's talk about the story of the book. 112263 is the story of Jake Epping. He is an English teacher from Lisbon Falls. He has a friend named Al and Al runs a diner in town. He reaches out to Jake and tells him about a time travel portal which is in the back of the storage of his diner and he shows him the way through where it takes you back to Derry in 1958. Now every time you go through this portal you end up at the same place and at the same time and Al has been going back and forth a lot over the years but now he's sick and he's dying and he then shares his kind of project or ambition about going back and forth with Jake and now he wants Jake to pick up the pieces and go on further with this. He wants Jake to go back to 1958 and live in the past for five years to find out if Lee Oswald was really the man behind the Kennedy assassination or if the conspiracy theories about someone else being behind the assassinations are really true. Now Jake does a couple of experimental rounds and then he agrees to this and goes back and go sort of undercover and spies on Lee Oswald and his family as well as establishing his own life back in the past and at the same time he falls in love with a woman and this of course complicates things. The thing about this is that the past doesn't want to be changed and this is something that is being repeated throughout the book is that the past doesn't want to be changed so the world is working against him while he is going through this and just so much stuff happens throughout this story it is hard to put this book into a specific genre but i would say that it is a historical science fiction because you do incorporate the time travel lessons here but other than that everything else is kind of more leaning onto historical fiction and of course there's a lot of made up stuff throughout this book but Stephen King has really done his research and he has implemented a lot of the real happenings around the Kennedy assassination into this and that's one of the things that made it even more interesting on my part. I think that 112263 is an amazingly well written story. It's slow boiling and very character driven. Not once did I find myself bored, but for some reason I use a lot longer time reading this book than I would usually do. So I don't know why that is. That being said, the world building around 1958 was done really well. The town and the time came alive as you read it and the story was very plausible. Stephen King is a master of incorporating his own past books and stories into new books and he did the same in this one. There was a lot of references to it in 11.22.63 which I really really appreciated. How Stephen King develops his characters throughout the story is one of the things that makes his book so incredibly great. I also found myself googling and doing my own kind of research while I was reading this, finding pictures of Oswald and Kennedy and just really doing my own kind of diving into the subject. It was fun to be inspired to look into this more and sort of try to make up your own mind if you believe that it was Oswald or anyone else. The characters in this are just amazing. I love Jake. I loved how he went on with this mission and even though it didn't really always go the way he planned it to go, it was very well done. I think the ending was perfect. It was a very well written Stephen King book. Not one of my absolute favorites, but a really good one even so and I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. Highly recommend, but I don't think it's a Stephen King novel to dive into if you're new to Stephen King books. 112263 was a very enjoyable experience and adventure for me. I'm 
very excited to see how they do this TV show and I really hope they don't screw this one over like they did with Under the Dome. That one just went batshit crazy and just way beyond the actual story which I kind of found to be weird because Stephen King was the, um, I think it was the executive producer on this one. So I was hoping they would stick more to the story, but they completely lost me. That's a whole other story, I'm not going into that now. But I'm, I am excited about the Hulu series, I'm excited to see James Franco as Jake Epping. I think he's going to do a um, remarkable job and fit the character really perfectly. So I might do some talk about the TV series later on, we'll see. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye!